doing today happy monday i'm sitting down today i'm chilling today we're gonna do some r&b today because man listen i had a weekend okay i mean it was easter weekend so i was chilling i'm just gonna you know 
leak that chill vibe over onto Monday. So first of all, hello everybody. Happy Easter. The good Lord has risen. I hope you are all doing amazing. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Gio. And every single day I teach you guys why the market moves the way that it does. And I'm going to teach you today why this happened. And it was actually very easy. Okay, very, very, uh, very easy to see. Now, full disclosure, I am not short on the market for once in my life. I'm not short. Why am I not short? Um, because it was Easter and I was not looking at the charts. But I was gig along. We took some profits. We got rinsed a little bit on the other profits. It's okay. <laughs> we live and learn. I learned a couple things from this move to the downside, which we'll get to in a minute. But hey, it's Monday and we're vertical to the ground and we're in a good mood. We're in a chill mood, but we're in a good mood. So make sure you guys smash the like button if you guys like what you see. Shout out to everybody in the chat right now. Good morning, everybody. I hope you had an amazing Easter. Chris Davila says some liquidation. Shout out to Arctic Fox. Thank you very much for the donation, my brother. Giving me the weights. Let's go. We're hitting the gym right after stream today. Razor already liked the stream. That's what I like to hear. Shouts out to, to Seb. To Seb says, honestly, uh, Gio's the reason I'm profitable nowadays because of his TR main strategy. Hey, man, listen, I appreciate that. I'm so glad that you are profitable now, bro. Honestly, I, I, that's why I do it. This is why I'm here and I give you guys the sauce every single day. So uh, it makes me really happy to hear that you guys are profitable, man. Congratulations, bro. Keep it up. You know, stay humble with it. The market can can humble you. Stay confident. Stay humble with it. Shouts out to Jew is in the chat. What's up, brother? Arctic Fox. Y'all like the new intro, eh? Shouts out to Dak. Jew, my man, how was the MDMA in Miami? Yo, listen. My mom watches this stream, okay? All I'm going to say is uh, I had a good time. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I'm glad you guys like the new intro. Love the new intro too, but previous music was better. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm gonna just switch it up, like, as I feel like it. Too long, though? I'm sorry, man. You know what I use in that five minutes? That's that's what I, like, go on Twitter and I, like, post it on Twitter, etc. Geo looks like an angry bird. That actually made me spit out my... My Dr. Pepper, man. That actually made me... That actually... <laughs> Made me spit out my Dr. Pepper. No word of lie. Got goosebumps. Shouts out Crypto Girly. What's up, girl? Good morning. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Happy Easter, everybody. All right, listen. Today we're chilling, okay? I'm not going to scream at you today because last week we were screaming. Then it was Easter. Mike, hi. How are you? How are you? Jeff's in the chat. What's up, Jeff? Hi, Gro. Says Top. Jabs is here. Rock and roll, baby. Yes, sir. Friday we're going to do a rock and roll session as we always do. But I want to talk about Bitcoin, man. And we're chilling today, all right? We're vibing. We're having a good time. We're chilling. So, full disclosure, I am not short on the market, like I said. And it's not even that I didn't see it. I did see it. But I wanted a retracement, okay? So, let me just start by giving a nice shout to the Discord. Uh, because we were looking at this yesterday. And actually, that's exactly what we got at these highs. You know, we were. I was saying, hey, listen, once we have that break of structure... I'm going to be looking to short, as I mentioned, right? Just like this. However, unfortunately, as you can see, the market decided to literally just die. Okay? We never actually got that retest. This is what we had drawn out. Right? <clears throat> I wanted the lower high to make a lower low. Didn't happen. Market just said, yeet, goodbye, see you later, screw you longs, you're all dead to me. And uh, here we are now. Right? Earlier this morning, while we were on stream in the VIP uh, section, so VIP stream, we were talking about uh, this little local range that we could have potentially traded. However, we were talking about this kind of curvature effect going on, saying that, hey, we might rinse down lower. And sure enough, we rinse down lower. So we grabbed that liquidity as well. So what am I expecting now? And why was this actually a very easy move to find? And uh, how is the market cipher looking now? So we're going to talk about all that right now. Real quick, I'm going to get into it. And, uh, you know, I'll, there's a couple There's a couple things that are notable, okay? A couple things that are notable here that you guys need to know, okay? First of all, let's, let's zoom out. Okay, we're going to talk about the weekly. We're going to talk about the monthly. We're going to talk about all that. But first of all, we need to know there's two things going on right now. And by that, I mean there's one thing, but going on twice. And that is your range, okay? We got two ranges right now. We have that range. And we have this range, okay? So is it really end of the world that we're dumping? No, not really. 
Not really, okay? Because we are just within the confinements of this little baby range. Uh, and we swept the low of this baby range. And what do we know about ranges in general? Well, we know that when you're at the lows, you make your way to the highs. When you're at the highs, you make your way to the lows. And then you just rotate the range, right? We kind of lagged around here. Nothing really uh, too crazy happened over the past few days in this little range here. But uh, if you have been following the range and you've been following the range, let's say, correctly, then you know... Guys, we talk about this every single day on the channel. You know that we're in the upper half, right? This is the premium section of the range. This is discount. So you should be looking to buy down here. And you should be looking to sell up here. So while we were... Even in the last few days, while you're in this range, you should be looking to sell. You shouldn't be looking to buy. Now, that doesn't mean you can't scalp. If you're new here, by the way, I am... Just in case you didn't know. How many people are in here right now? Let me see. All right. We got 129 people in here. We have 40 likes. So hit the like button if you like what you see. But let me just say this. If you are new here, my name is Gio, and every single day I teach you guys why the market moves the way that it does. I'm usually a lot more upbeat. I'm usually a lot more um, high, high, fast-paced. But uh, for now, I'm not because... What just happened to my Ethereum long? Did I just get slapped out? Because... Oh, yeah, I did. Wow, that's ass. No, no, we can't have that. Uh, okay, because... Um, today, we're... we're we're kind of just chilling out, but we go over how the market moves every single day. And so up here is premium, okay? And in general, when you're looking at a range, you should be looking to sell premium and you should be looking to buy the discount section. The discount section is here on the lows. And so this is nothing crazy, nothing to say that, oh, why the hell is this happening? I mean, it was kind of obvious, right? It was kind of obvious, but I want to talk about something a little bit less obvious, okay? And that is order blocks, okay? Every, man, I look, I, I treat the market like smart money, okay? I don't use, I use fibs and stuff. I'm not going to sit here and say that I don't, but I follow more of the smart money approach of things. And, you know, you can see here, and we were talking about this level as well last week, but we had a one hour order block at these highs. And not only that, but you can see we've had pretty strong rejections um, over the past few days. Like while we were ranging here, you can see that like the first drop here, we had 2%. The second attempt at this at this same order block, you know, we had a 3%. For, uh, third attempt, we had a 5% down. Fourth attempt, we had a 4% down. And now the fifth percent, our fifth, uh, fifth time down, we have about 5% once again down to the downside. So what actually is going on in this zone? What's actually happening here? We're going to dive into that. And this is what I mean by I teach you guys why the market moves the way that it does. And I go over um, what I'm expecting to happen next, okay? So let me just... Start by saying it's not the end of the world, okay? Like, I, I I, fully expect to come back up, so don't sweat it. We're gonna talk about it. Make sure you stick around. Make sure you grab a Dr. Pepper, not a sponsor. But uh, we're gonna go over it on this more chill session. But before we do that, thank you very much for the reminder, um, Jew, because we gotta get this disclaimer up, all right? Disclaimer! All content presented is a complete joke and should not be taken seriously. Joe is an incompetent five foot two and three quarters wannabe singer, not a financial advisor. Crypto is a scam, big scam. Making money online is impossible, big impossible. Global warming is real, big real. So is the fake virus, by the way. The earth is flat, viewer discretion is advised. This is way up more my alley on how energetic and how kind of wild I am. But again, today we're kind of chilling. Bet my bike was a tricycle. I love, man, I love when you guys roast me in the comments, man. That's just funny as hell. Hello, are you late? Not really, bro. Not really. We haven't really talked about much. But anyways, let's go over this, okay? So we have a one-hour order block. And you might think, okay, remember, up here is your all-time high, okay? All-time high is 74K. We already know on the more macro grand scheme of things, we are well overextended. We already know that a big move can come to the downside. However, we also know the thicker the money flow, the more chances of divergences. And we also know that uh, we don't really have any divergences up at the tops here while we had money increasing. So am I expecting a new all-time high? Yes, I am. Am I expecting a new all-time high potentially this week? Possibly. Maybe in the next couple weeks. Pre-having. So no, it is not the end of the world. And there are a couple zones that I am looking to trade, which I will get right into it if and when we get there. However, I want to talk about why the rejection. Because remember, my job here is to provide as much value as I can to you and to teach you as much as I possibly can. So we have a one-hour order block here at the highs, okay? 
right? We had a nice one hour order block and you can see that we've had that rejection many, many times, which is just what happens when you're in with when you're within a range. Okay, prior to this most recent uh, reaction, not only did we have very ugly like price action over the weekend, right? You, we left a lot of liquidity that we could come and grab, but it was also weekend volume, right? And not only that, but it was also holiday weekend volume. So last week I've been saying, yo guys, this could get pretty like, not ugly. I expected kind of not really a big move because low volume, all markets were closed, etc. And so understanding that, you know, we needed to be aware that we could have easily given all the gains that we get that we got throughout the whole weekend, which took so long, we could have easily given that back. And, and that's exactly what we did. So whenever you're trading your range, I always want you guys to be aware of your liquidity. And I don't want you to draw a trend line like a like an like a retail weirdo and say all right i'm gonna long support because look at what happens when you try to long support it doesn't work out we don't draw trend lines on this channel okay that being said <clears throat> what happened up here well we have an order block fine we rejected from it smart money is trying to uh defend their positions here you can see i mean they gave they had many attempts and they just got smacked down over and over again but i want to talk about a couple other levels that i'm looking at and i gave these levels uh i gave these levels last week on the channel and these are a little bit more important in my opinion okay so you know we're just in our local range whatever we could expect this rotational effect when you're at the highs you rotate to the lows right we have already been over that now that being said my actual target for all of my swing longs, and by the way, last week, um, no, maybe like 10 days ago now, I did let you guys know that on Bitcoin, I was opening up a swing long at this position, um, at this at this price, rather. I did say I was opening up swing longs, and I did post it publicly on my YouTube. So, you know, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. My name is Gio. I'm five foot two and three quarters, if you didn't know. Anyway, doesn't matter. I was expecting, or this still technically is my target, 72,532, okay? Why is this still my target? Why is this a very important level? A lot of people right now are talking about the all-time high, and I and like I just said 10 minutes ago, 5 minutes ago, I do absolutely believe that we can come and make it a new high. Okay, the number one rule with market cipher B is the thicker the money flow, the more chance of divergences. Yes, you could say that we're diverging over time, and we absolutely are. But if we forget this little section here locally, we also know the thicker the money flow, the more chances of divergences. And so we can expect something like this, right, to happen. Now, the question is how high do we go before we uh, come and take the high, potentially? And the answer is we don't know yet. Or how low do we go, rather? We don't know yet, right? We don't know yet. But we're going to be looking along the range, and we're going to be looking along both ranges because we got this local range going on. And we have this more macro range. So can we come a lot lower? Absolutely, we can. And will I be looking for swing longs to come and take these all-time highs if we do make our way down to potentially here or we SFP this low at 59K? Absolutely, I will. It's all possible, okay? It is all possible. Don't mind this. I don't know why this is here, but we're going to hide it. It's probably important. Same with this guy. Probably important, okay? So what's happening now locally well i'll tell you this if bitcoin doesn't hold this box right here i'll show you these are vip levels but i'll show you anyways i don't care okay we got a couple long zones here okay these are my boxes and i'm gonna say mainly if bitcoin does not hold 67 860 we're screwed okay when i say we're screwed i mean we're probably coming back down to this low if not uh the 59k low and if we don't hold that, we're coming down to 53K, okay? Once we start closing a four-hour candle or a daily candle below this level right here, 59.1, I guarantee you we're coming really fast down to here, okay? I see you, bro, with the halving. I'm going to answer this question in just a minute here. But I see that, okay? Now, what are we looking for? Well, I'll tell you this. This long was very close, and I'm in a long right now, okay? I'm up $400 right now. Nothing crazy, but I am up. I am in a long um, from that low. And I am potentially expecting something like this. Because like I said, we were to expect, we're, we're, we are to trade the range and short the highs of the range and long the lows of the range. 
right now we're at the lows of the range, so we should be looking to short it. I mean, long it, sorry. You know, we front ran the level by a little bit, but that's completely okay because this level was derived around the idea of taking that low, right? So sweeping liquidity, which we did do. So I am long. I am going to be targeting highs like this guy here because we do actually have an order block here now. So uh, I will be looking at market structure when we get up, if and when we get up to like 69.5, 69.6. But I don't think anything has really changed in terms of my target, which is this guy here. Now, there's two levels or two shorts that I want to talk about. One is, is after sweeping 72, 532 and not taking the all-time high. And the other one is taking the all-time high. Now, if you can see my little thing here, okay, it says, be very careful. Do not front run here. Wait for 5 to 10 market structure change. Why am I saying... I want to wait for 5 to 10 market structure change. So it will look something like this. It will be like this. Boom. Well, we wouldn't take the high. So let's just say that it was like this. Okay. Why am I saying I want to see this? Because I'm very well aware that we are, we are potentially at all-time highs. And we are threatening all-time highs in the event that we like don't get that market structure change. So am I going to be front running anything? Absolutely not. I'm going to be waiting for the confirmations that I want to see. Why am I even looking at this level? Well, if I hide everything, hide it all, hide it all. There's two notable things here. Number one, we have this SFP. Okay. There's a lot of liquidity here, but more importantly than that, we actually have inducement, which if you don't know what that means, it is essentially front running an order block. Long story short, you can see ever so slightly, ever so slightly, but it is there. We have inducement on this order block, okay? And so while everybody and their mother is waiting for an all-time high, and I'm not saying we're not going to get there. We very well might. But while everybody and their mother is waiting for an all-time high, um, we also need to be aware that this could smack price down pretty significantly, faking out everybody that thinks we're going to come and make a new high again, okay? Remember, this... Like, I always talk about liquidity. That's my favorite word when it comes to trading. And this wick took out all this liquidity, right? It took out this high, which, you know, whatever. So we don't actually need to come up and take another high. We don't need to. Doesn't mean we can't. Doesn't mean we won't. We don't need to come and take another high. So with that being said, by the way, I'm going to take profit on my Bitcoin long right now. I just took 50% out. All right. Like, girl, you seem to love me now. Anyway, I took a little bit of profit out right now. Well, I took half out. Okay, and I'll get back in. That's fine if I need to. Anyways, so that's why I'm looking at this level, okay? I think we're very close to this level without taking it. I do think that we might get something like this. And if we get a bear div, especially on like this three hour, for example, without taking the high, like I will still be looking to short it, okay? So I just wanted to come out here and say that. Remember, okay? Don't be a liberal, don't be stupid. Don't say up only, up only, because it's not up only. We have to trade the confinements within the range, okay? When you're at the highs of the range, you're looking to short, you're not looking to long. This is a short area. The all-time high is a short area. If we take the all-time high and we're getting continued bearish divergence, let's say we get something like this. Let's say this happens over the next couple days, okay? Let's say over the next, like, week or so. Let's say, actually, no, until the halving, and then I'm going to answer this question. Let's just say until the halving, which I don't know why I'm... There we go. Let's just say until the halving, this is what happens on the daily time frame, okay? I don't know when the halving is. I don't really care. I also don't know if it's called the having or the having. I don't know. I'm not gay. I don't care. <clears throat> but I'll say this. Let's just say that the having market cipher looks like this. Uh, when is the having? Like, let's just say it's here. April 20th. I don't know. Right? Let's just say market cipher does this over the or or even like this green dot and then red dot. And this is what it looks like. So let's just say we get this or wherever down we are right now. We get one more high. You know, here, maybe we range for a couple days and then we come down. Then I will absolutely be targeting at the very least this low. Okay. At the very least, especially if we SFP this high. And I'll tell you why. 
Market structure right now on the daily time frame is we don't know where the low, I mean the low is either here It's subjective, right? It's either here or it's here. Okay, but if we were to take if we were to if we were to take the high again Then your market structure on the daily time frame would be undeniably up down Wherever the new high is up and then potentially lower high to then make a higher a higher higher low to then make a higher high so this would be expectational order flow, right? But if you SFP it, then this easily becomes the target. But if this becomes our target, then uh, there's no way that they're not going to make a run for this liquidity, in my opinion. So I will absolutely be looking for swing shorts, but obviously I will be, uh, I will be updating you guys along the way. Obviously. By the way, guys, let me know. Do you guys like the chill? Like this kind of chill, like I'm not screaming at you guys every day. <laughs> like this chill kind of vibe right now. I kind of like it. We're vibing out. <clears throat> this like R&B, like less screaming, whatever. All right, let me answer some questions here. And then we will continue. Uh, all right, first question is, um, Gio, the bit, uh, with the Bitcoin having coming, do I ex why am I expecting a short all-time high? Um... Because, because, okay, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. So, long story short, no pun intended, long story short, um, how do I say this properly? <laughs> I respond better to the aggression. Okay, how about this? Type one, if you like the aggression and the screaming better. Type two, if you like the chill shit better. While you do that, I'm gonna answer the question. Okay, <clears throat> why am I, ex I, I mean, if I'm reading this correctly, why am I expecting, why am I expecting uh, to short the all-time high? Long story short, the Bitcoin halving has historically been, um, has historically been bullish. The, the, the cycle is broken. <clears throat> okay, the cycle is broken, which means that we cannot, B, um, okay, we got a lot of twos. Wait, was two the chill one or was one the ch I don't even remember which which options I gave you. <laughs> I don't even remember what I said. Which one, what was the answer for one? <laughs> Did I say one was like loud and two was chill? I actually don't even remember what I said. That's funny. That is so funny. Anyways, so, okay, historically, the, the, the having has been bullish. Right, but the cycle is broken. So who's to say that the having is even gonna be bullish, right? We're gonna just continue to play the range. We're gonna long and short whatever we want. But uh But I mean we can't we it's 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 undeniable that once we lose this low, we're gonna shoot down here very easily. Okay, undeniable. If we lose this range, I mean we're coming down to here easily. And if we lose this guy like, I'm sorry to tell you guys, but we're probably coming down to, like, here. <laughs> like, these are your, like, three levels. I, I, I'm not saying we're going to lose them. We're going to have to analyze while we get there. But if that happens, if we lose here, we're coming down to here. If we lose here, we're coming down to here. Very simple. <clears throat> All right. Two was chill. All right. All right, we got some ones. We got some twos. Chill with a little bit of party. I ain't got time for you, baby. A little party never killed nobody. Anyways, that's like just like the, the macro of it. And like, look, you know, you also, it, 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 you can't deny, listen, I, I say this all the time. I'm stuttering here. I say this all the time, man. We cannot deny reality, okay? The reality of it. Whether you like it or not, whether you want to hear it or not, money's still coming out on the daily time frame, okay? I'm not bearish right now. You know, I, I made the mistake of being a little bit too bearish too soon and too much and focusing on one direction only. Fine. I've been good, though. I've been good lately. And um, that being said, like, undeniably, there's we're still getting those divergences, right? So, on these uh, on these higher-term time frames. <clears throat> we're still getting it. We're still getting it. Anyway, let's uh, let's carry on here. So, I mean, look, Bitcoin swept. Remember, we're in the range. Okay, we're gonna hide this. Let's get a nice uh, box here so it looks nice. Keep it very simple. 
We're in our range. Do I not have a range thing anymore? We're in my range thing. All right, whatever. We're in our range, okay? We're in a range here. Very easy. We look to long the lows. We look to short the highs. That's an ugly color. That's also an ugly color. Ew. What am I doing? Okay, whatever. We'll do this. And so... The important thing about the range right now is that we swept the low, right? That's the important thing right now. And if you're going to follow market structure from this point on the higher term time frames, objectively, your structure... Remember, I, I flipped... We flipped bullish on the four hour here. This is at the point where I was in the airport. I said I'm longing from this zone. We exactly came here. And then up we came, right? So right now, your four hour structure is up... Um, down and then now it is up and then if this remains as an SFP then this becomes your target right if this is your target there's no way we're not going to come up to here and if, if we take this there's no way we're not going to hit this order block so right now things are looking good for potentially this right the question is how low the question is how low do we go before we actually get this so we'll pay attention to this uh sfp this is right now i guess technically an sfp like we definitely didn't um we definitely didn't like i'm, I'm not gonna call this an sfp or a close like this is exactly on the level so we need to be watching out for it but just like with everything you know you got to be aware of all scenarios and bitcoin can come lower okay it can and um where I would be looking to giga long, which was one of the setups that I had, was the order block down here. So if we can get down here while still SFPing it, like let's just say over the next four hours, we get something like this on the 15. Let me see if. Yeah, let's say we get this. Better than yours, no such thing as a life. Then I will absolutely 100% be looking to long it up to here. Like easy, easy long. Very easy long. Wow, it's a good thing I took profits on that uh, on that Bitcoin long. You know, so I mean, if you guys want to write this box down or have this box, sixty-seven point five, basically. I would actually even take a long anywhere from here. Did we hit this level? I would be looking along anywhere under the basically anywhere under the low that we already put, and I'm already in a long. So if we go up from here, I'm chilling. But if we don't, then I'm chilling. It doesn't matter to me. I don't really care. No such thing as a life that are better than yours, yeah. Can I explain what an order block is from uh, my perspective? Yeah, it's basically like it's basically a level in the chart where where smart money in, uh, is involved. Okay, so like essentially what a what an order block is is like it's essentially the last sell to buy. Okay, so market makers like induce traders into thinking that price was going to go down from here and then they shot it up. So it's the last sell to buy. And then when they when they bring price back to it, they're defending their longs that they entered at these lows. That's basically what a what an order block is. <clears throat> chill, we like doing the setups. Party mode while we're making money. Let's go. So chill while we're doing the setups and then party while we're making the money. All right, got it. What I, can I ask my Mexi rep uh, if I can do the Palau? Yeah, I will. I will. Sorry, you are new. What is an SFP? SFP stands for... Um, SFP stands for swing failure pattern, which is essentially like... Remember, expectation... Basically, expectation order flow, which is like just follow market structure, right? Like the expectation is to always do this. An SFP and like this high's job is to take out or sorry this low's job is to take out this high So if we can't close above this high Then it would be considered an SFP. So if it looks like this For example, like if your candle looks like this Then this low failed to take out this high that's essentially what an SFP is. It's a swing failure pattern. It's a liquidity grab. Like, long story short, it's a liquidity grab. So much value, no likes. Yo, guys, listen to the Messenger Prophecy Watch and hit the like button. How many people do we got in here? Let's see. We got 100. Er we got 252 people in here. We got 72 likes only. Guys, my name is Joe, and every single day I teach you guys why the market moves the way that it does. 
And, uh, I mean, listen, a free way that you can support me is by hitting the like button because we are out here explaining to you guys every day, building the narrative, why the market moves the way that it does, showing my levels and, uh, and whatever else. So, you know, hit the like button for me. And, uh, if you like what you see so far and you like my face, then hit the sub button for me because, uh, that also goes a long way. We are long on Bitcoin right now, long and strong. And if we decide to take the low again... Then uh, we will long again. No problem, bro. No problem. No problem. Max, I see your comment, bro. I'm going to sing if I want to. Did I take profits because it was maintaining five-minute market structure? Um, no. I'll tell you why I took profits, man. I'll tell you why. I took half out, and it was very, very, actually a very easy reason why I took profits. Very simple. Very, very simple. This is why I took profit, okay? So if you're following structure, which I, 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 I was before, but not on, the, not on the same thing. But if you're following structure, right? We had a five-minute SFP with this being the target, okay? This was the target. Now, because I longed here... I can't be unrealistic with my targets and say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just shoot for up here, even though despite me saying, all right, I think that we can come up here, I can't be unrealistic with the target because um, if I'm longing here based on the two minute structure, I have to take profit at this high. Like it's, it's not negotiable, it's not negotiable. I have to, right? And so if I have to take profit here, number one, I'm taking 50% out. Because two things can happen once the order flow objective gets hit. Two things can happen. Either we SFP it or we break above it, okay? If we SFP it, then I take 50% out. I'm chilling. Fine. If we break above it, expectational order flow would be to make a higher low to then make a higher high, okay? The reason I took profit a little bit before the order flow objective, which is this guy here, which is what we were, were targeting, is because I'm on stream, and because I'm on stream, and I always get ki like I never actually get to pay attention to things properly. Um, I was like, you know what, we're close enough. I'm just gonna take profit here in case the front runs it, and like I can't really be focusing when I'm on stream like that, right? So I mean, that's why I took profit really because I we I saw we were close enough, and I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna get out now, like half out, because I can't really follow it, you know. <laughs> Thanks, the sexy hobbit. No worries, bro. Zigzag says the Palau ID works for him. Did I see the serial token on Mexi? No, I have no idea what that is. Can I look at Casper? Shouts out to D the dude. 88, thank you very much for the donation, bro. I appreciate it. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, I'll take a look at uh, Casper and then I'll take a look at Link. Casper, Casper. Man, I never know where you guys find these coins, man. Literally, I don't know. Anyways, let's let's take a look at Casper. Hold on one second. Let me just manage my positions real quick, real quick to make sure that we're chilling. Cause even though we're going through it and it makes you all right. Casper. Is this the right ticker? I honestly genuinely don't know if this is the right ticker. Is this the right ticker? I think this is the right ticker. <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the right ticker. I don't know if I've ever even looked at this before, but let's try. Let's see what we see here. All right, so this guy, I mean, we are literally just giga ranging, okay? We're in a giga range, nothing crazy. Just on the looks of the range, it doesn't look too strong, I'll tell you that. It doesn't look too strong, doesn't look too weak. It looks kind of indifferent. I would not bet the farm on this thing at all, but I'll tell you this, within the confinements of the range. By the way, let me just add one thing. Remember, remember it is very important for you guys to always, uh, what's it called? Remember, it is important for you guys to, um, to pay attention to your altcoins relative to Bitcoin. Okay, very important for you to do that. 
And I just want to say this, man. I don't want anyone to think that, that you're out of the water. If Bitcoin decides to absolutely just die, which it may, like, look, there's a lot of liquidity here. <laughs> don't think that your altcoins can't make new lows because they absolutely can. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not saying they're going to. I'm just saying they can. And it's our job to be objective. And it's our job to uh, understand that, that these things may happen, okay? You can't just, oh, we're in a bull market, YOLO. No, not YOLO. But especially, especially not this cycle, because the cycle, we already know, has been broken. Okay, so especially we can't do that. We can't say that now. No shot, man. No shot. No freaking way. You are so not allowed to say that. It's not even funny. The cycle is broken. You have to, you have to be... Look, everyone's like, oh, cycle's broken. Super cycle, super cycle. You have to be able to say maybe it's going to be a super cycle bear, bear market. Like, we don't know. I'm not saying it is, but I'm just saying. If you're going to say, not you, but if you're going to say the cycle's broken for the good side of it, then uh, you got to say the volume, the, uh, it, it could be broken for the bad of it also. And no, Dabby, I still do use the uh, volume profile. I do. I just didn't have it up. Anyways, let's take a look at this guy here. So right now, uh, simple enough. Looks like we're just coming down to some order blocks here. Okay, I'll tell you this. Did we take this low? Okay, no. For me, I wouldn't touch this thing until that low minimum is taken. Right? We didn't touch it yet. So I would keep that in mind. Right? This low's got to go. Uh, that's number one. Number two. Um, let's see where we're coming to. I think I'll say yo. To be honest with you, man, this coin does not look good to me. If you're trading the confinements of this little range, okay, Market Cypher is looking pretty decent. I mean, aside from that, though, you wouldn't want this low to go. This guy here at uh, 3, 3, 2, whatever, which is pretty far away, right? 11% away. If this low goes, we're coming for these guys. Like, we're coming for this liquidity. But I don't know if this low is going to go because this low swept out this low. So for now, I mean, you could argue it looks okay. If you're going to look at this in the whole retail way, I mean, I guess you have, which I don't do, I don't trade like this, but I guess you have your, you know, head and shoulders, you know, garbage. I stopped using head and shoulders when I was uh, in, in kindergarten, when we, when we did the head and shoulders, knees and toes song. That's when I stopped looking at head and shoulders. I'm a grown ass man. So I, I don't, I don't like, it's weird to me, but hey, to each their own. Um, I think the best chance for this coin is to SFP this low. And I actually think it would be very bullish if we SFP this low. If you don't SFP this low, then uh, it's not as bullish. But if you start getting four hour candle closes below 3590, then uh, I think this coin is pretty screwed, to be honest. And it's not really looking great to me. You could get a reaction off of these, like, these daily and two day order blocks down here. Right, you could get a reaction. So what I would do is I would pay attention to like 15 minute structure coming out of this zone. So if we get something like that, then I would look to long it up. Right? But aside from that, even on market cipher, it doesn't really look good. And you're just ranging. Right? Like this coin hasn't really performed well at all. <clears throat> all I got for you, man. How do I look at structure when it's crazy wicks, um, like on Doge? Well, what time frame are you looking at? Number one. Oops, oops. You just like you take the um, you take the the wicks for like what they are. So like for example, if you're on the ten minute time frame, let's just say you're on the ten and you see this, like that's an SFP. So you're just gonna treat it as an SFP. Unless, unless you're seeing some crazy wicks that I'm not seeing. But I mean, Doge has a lot of liquidity that we can come and grab. Like, I think 13 cents is an immaculate, an immaculate long for Doge. If we can get down to 13 cents, like if the market just bleeds for the next two months, for the next month or next couple weeks into the halving or whatever, 
This is an amazing buy, in my opinion. Wow, we didn't even touch that high. That's crazy on Bitcoin. And ETH is bleeding. <laughs> Why the dump? The dump is because we tapped into an order block, brother. There are premium grade man info. We are here uh, getting and liking is the minimum you can do. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. So if you look at historical data, uh, meme coins only pump as hard uh, as they've been at the end of the cycle. Man, I'll tell you this, dude. There's also like racist coins out and like, you know, dude, like the, the high is so close. Chloan, shout out to Chloan, says Trader Geo, I look cute today. Thank you. Appreciate that. So do you. <laughs> So this could end badly for all of us if we don't start looking at higher time frames. Yeah, you need to be paying attention to where uh, where all your high time frames are. Okay, I'm way behind on the comments. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna be able to. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to look at all of them. What's up, fam? Listening while shoveling gravel. Much love. Shouts out to you, Eric. Grown five foot, five foot two and three quarters. Hey, that five foot two and three quarters matters. Okay. All inches matter. Uh, how did I draw the range? Um, you just draw the range from the high to the low of the range. So, like, let's come to a clean chart, okay? So, there are, there are like, different ways to do it. I'm going to see if I can find a nice clean range so I can explain this easily. Okay, so, for me, the way that I draw ranges is, like, okay, we'll do here, okay? So I don't draw a range like, I, I wouldn't draw my range like this. I wouldn't draw my range like this, right? And call this my range. The, the reason I draw it in this way, which I'll explain here in a second, is because you're basically trying to front run your range, right? So after a big move, you always need to know that uh, price can range. So we want to basically be able to identify our range before uh, the range actually comes into play. So as soon as you have a move, I will take my range from the low to the high. So this would be my range. And then when I take the high and we SFP it, then I would come back in. So this would be my range here. And that's basically how I draw it. So like, I'll come on like the five minute time frame to, to illustrate it a little bit better because we got ranges all over the place, right? So here, we had a move down. This is a three minute time frame. Like you could, you could trade ranges on any time frame, right? You can scalp all day. I would draw it from this low to, at first it was to this high, then we extend it, then we SFP the high, so then we raise it up, then we like break above, but we come back, so we raise above, then we come back again, so this was, this was our range until we broke below it. Now, currently, this is another range, right? And ranges are subjective in nature, right? So this is another range. Ranges are subjective, but the reason I do it that way is to try to front run what's like, what my range is, right? So here, the range would have been this low to this high. Drag it over, drag it over, drag it over until eventually, you know, we break out of the range and you're no longer satisfied with that range. Look at here. All right here you pumped. Okay, post pump. Post pump, you have the high, you have the low. This was the range. Extend it. We took the low, but we came back in. So now we extend it until we broke out of it. Now you no longer care about this range. Very simple. Right? Pretty simple. Price action has looked pretty ugly as of late, but like this is a great example. Right? Three hour time frame. We had our high. Had our high. Had our low. That was your that was your range. Right? I love you like a fat kid love cake. Woo! Hey, what is SFE? SFE is swing failure pattern. It's basically a liquidity grab. I have videos on it, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Girl, seem to love me now. All right, Bitcoin is looking pretty decent here. So right now, look, look, look. Let's take this for what the range is right now, okay? Number one, you come on a time frame that it looks good on. Two minute looks pretty good. This is even a one minute range. This is a very young range, okay? It's a very young range. What's my range right now? Let's take a look, All right? We've, we've made a swing low. We made a swing low, we made a swing high. That was our range. Extend it. We took the low and came back within the range, so we extend it. Okay? That's your range right now. Here's your first tap. 
Here's your first tap. Here's your second tap. Naturally, if we are to go higher, we would expect another third tap, maybe here, to maybe send price higher, right? That would be our Wyckoff schematic for this little one minute range. And the target would be this high. But it depends on what happens here, right? We have one tap here, we got two taps at the lows. So we'll see what happens. When Geo coin, yeah. Dixie's pumping. Link, let's take a look at Link. Chain Link. I still think the world is way too bullish, man. Love for me, girl. You seem to love me now. All right, well, Link came and tapped this order block nicely. That's number one. So this guy's mitigated. Okay, that guy's mitigated now. Important to know. And, um, you know, let's get rid of this. I mean, Link right now, let's, let's actually zoom out here. I mean, yeah, like money's coming out. It definitely doesn't look great, I'll tell you that. Not The whole market looks like ass right now. But you could argue we got two ranges going on, right? We got that range going on. We got this range going on, right? Could this just be one very large range? Yeah. And so if that happens, which it very well could happen, you could see that the lower part of the range hasn't been taken for, you know, a decent amount of time here. Would I consider this my range as of right now? No, because I have no, uh, no reason to believe that we're gonna actually come down here. But, um, I mean, order blocks, guys, literally order blocks, like, Literally all you need is order blocks So easy You don't need anything else except for order blocks You just need to know how to find the order blocks and more importantly how to find the order blocks correctly because I have rules that I use Order blocks easy Easy Come into the order block. Let's see our market structure market structure change. We didn't really have good market structure coming into the order block Actually, we did. You could have shorted it right here. Could have shorted it right here. Down you go. Easy. Easy short. Easy short. Four hours looking dumpy. Yeah, it's all looking dumpy, man. People are too bullish. People are way... Not even a little bit too bullish, way too bullish. People seem to forget that, uh... People seem to forget that we've literally been up only. All right, let's come back to what's important now. So remember, I will be looking for longs, especially if we come and we tap these one of these zones, preferably the yellow box zone. What are we doing right now? Like, we couldn't even make it to this high. Right, that's not exactly what you want to see. Not exactly what you want to see, but nonetheless, one tap, two tap. We're probably going to get a third tap. We're probably going to take the low again, is my uh, my guess. ETH just took the low again. Remember, ETH and Bitcoin work in confluence, or uh, work in tandem. <clears throat> I mean, ETH looks like ass. So, guys, if you're ever, like, wondering what Bitcoin might do, and you're and it looks kind of 50-50, just come look at ETH. They will likely do the same thing. Not only that, but we know the thicker the money flow, the more chance of divergences. I will be shocked if Ethereum does not come and take this low. Wait, did it take this low? Yeah, it actually did take the low. Okay. But barely, but it did take it. Maybe we do this now. Boop, boop, boop. 
So I'll be looking for this right now. Perhaps that's what happens. We'll see. What are my altcoin holdings? <clears throat> my altcoin holdings are... Uh... Hey, shout out to Gaz Gano. Thanks for the TA. Love the vibe. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Come back for sure. No treadmill today. What's good, Gio? Relatively new subscriber in here to stay. Welcome, Gabriel. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of lazy today, man. Honestly, I'm kind of lazy. Should we long ETH right now? No, probably not. YOLO? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> anyway, um, probably, you know, maybe this will happen. Let's see the 10. I mean, yeah, this looks like ass. <clears throat> This does not look very good, man. I would love, I would love. Let me tell you what I would love. I would love if Bitcoin came down to 67.5, number one. At the same time, Ethereum comes down to down here. ETH comes down to here. The same time Bitcoin comes down to here. Oh, baby, those are your lungs. Those are your longs. Yeah, so what are my altcoin holdings? Um, I got I got a lot of... My biggest one is doggy coin. All inches matter. Yeah, bro. They do. <laughs> yeah, my biggest holding is, uh, is doggy coin. Doggy coin. Doggy, doggy. All right, we are getting bull divs here on Ethereum. Geo, don't sing. The more you tell me not to sing, bro, the more I'm gonna literally only sing. I'm gonna tra change my name from Trader Geo to Singer Geo and shut down all the analysis. Look, look what you just did. Hold on. Look what you just did. You did that, Max. This is your fault, bro. Now I'm gonna trade by myself. Like before I had a YouTube and it'll be so sad. Bro, we will get a pullback if I look at the range. Uh, bull bear cycles, lengths, nothing has changed. The Bitcoin top is 2025 October. You know what? Maybe, bro. Maybe. I'll tell you this, man. For sure, I think um, uh, I think that a high is close. Like a macro high is very close. For sure. I think that. But we're going to just... It doesn't matter what I think. Life does not work. On what I think. <clears throat> yeah, bro. If you like, <clears throat> if you like, uh, you think I need a hair transplant? I mean, it's not that bad. It's not great, but it's not horrible. But I appreciate you guys coming for me this uh, this stream. Thank you very much for hurting my feelings, guys. Thank you very much for that. Stubborn as hell now. What did you do? <laughs> Love your uh, giveaway? Yeah, we'll do a giveaway. So, guys, listen, we got 250 people here. This is a banger, bro. No such thing. Um, guys, if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. My name is Gio and every single day I teach you guys why the market moves the way that it does. And every 100 likes, we do a giveaway. What are we giving away, you ask? Thank you very much for asking. I have four boot camps. 
Each boot camp is over three hours. And it is premium content, which will teach you guys what to look for when entering the market. All right. How do you get into the market? How do you get out of the market? What are you looking for to trade the market? And so let me show you what I got going on for you. Let me show you. All right. I got four boot camps, as you know. Market structure. Key zones and building the narrative. Order blocks and liquidity, absolute banger. And my personal favorite, Market Cypher B and time frames. Now the Market Cypher one is a mind fuck, okay? It is very hard to do, it is very hard to practice, and it's gonna take a couple of watches. I gave a disclaimer when I did this uh, boot camp, and I'm like, yo guys, like disclaimer, hello. It's not easy. But once you can figure it out, you can join me in the multiverse of Market Cypher. So uh, you guys get to pick one of those and every 100 likes we do that we're at 132 likes and there's 235 of you So the last hundred of you that did not like it if you all hit the like button for me then We will uh, you know We'll do another giveaway He is the head and shoulders. Yeah <laughs> Bro, I didn't want to offend you. I just wanted to see my riz. You didn't offend me, bro. Nope. Listen, I'm five foot two and three quarters, okay? Nobody can offend me. There's nothing anybody can say that, uh, <laughs> that can offend me. You're good, bro. I'm just kidding. Banned. Banned for life. See you later. <laughs> With that close up, we can see you don't use head and shoulders. I don't use head and shoulders. You know what? I actually have a. I have um, some some health shit going on right now. No such thing, no such thing. <laughs> I've been here for three months. So many entries, no boot camps. Jason, bro, I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for you. Gio, isn't BTC building a W on the 15 minute time frame? Let's take a look at the 15 minute time frame. Isn't it building a W? Where are you seeing a W, bro? You mean here? Like this locally? Is that what you mean? Because this wouldn't be a 15 minute W. And this wouldn't be a 15 minute W either. No such thing. I don't want to buy it and then do it six months from now. Knowing head and shoulders and trading in real life. I am the head and shoulders, bro. Yeah. Locally, here, yeah. Okay. Um, ye I mean, remember, like, okay, your five minute structure is this, right? Everything else that happens right now, all this mumbo jumbo is internal. And we SFP the low. So technically, like this is the target, right? Right now, your target is this. So whether or not we hit the order flow objective, which would be that target, is I don't I can't answer that. I, it's a different, you know, we don't know. But right now, technically, based on this SFP. This was your trade, right? It's a nice four to one. You could have entered really anywhere. I mean, you could have had a better entry, whatever, but the stop needs to go beneath that low. And then you're targeting this. Like that is your trade setup, right? Whether or not it happens again is a different story, but you know, it could happen. Where would we expect to bounce from? Well, why not the order block that we have right here? I know I'm drawing that in hindsight. I'm aware, but it doesn't it doesn't change where I would have drawn it from You know, why not from there? Even though we're going through it and it makes you feel I'm lacking off the treadmill should I get the treadmill back? Oh man, you guys all want the treadmill? Yeah, bro, Mexi's gonna require KYC. It sucks. Mm. 
<sighs> I am so tired, man. So sleepy. So let's see what happens here. Look, one one minute red vector candle coming into our two minute order block that technically has already been mitigated. Do we have reason to come lower? Um, I know this is a green candle, but we could call that one too. So let's see what happens here. We could bounce from here. Let's see. Mitigated. Is this going to be the same color? No, it is not. Mitigated. What is this? I don't, we don't need this. We know we're in the range. Even though we're going through. So let's see if we can come hit this box. All right, all right. Let me get the treadmill up. If we get the treadmill up, we're going to get into our, like, zone here. So, you asked for this, bro. You did this. You did this, brother. Okay, I didn't want to do this today. I wanted to chill out today. <laughs> All right, look at that. We just tapped into that into that box beautifully. Let's see if we. Yeah, we're probably gonna bounce from here. Let's check. Yeah, we're probably gonna bounce from here. Let's see if we get a little bounce, little bounce from here. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe though. I don't know. I just work here. We would want to see a, a, a structure change, which we're not seeing. So now we could potentially see a structure change on the five second time frame. Gee, are you crazy? You're talking structure changes on the five second time frame? You know what, guys? Yes, I am. Sue me, all right? Sue me. Sue me. There you go. Let's see if we get the five second structure break here or if we get a five second SFP. Still too soon. I don't like it. I don't like it yet. Not, not quite yet. Let's see. Let us see. Come on, Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Oh, why am I so zoomed in? That is horrendous. There we go. That's better. Come on, Bitcoin. Look at that. Five second structure. Let's see. Let us see. Off the order block. Off the five second order block, motherfucker. Wait, what joke did I, uh, did I make? The don't sue me? Did I say don't sue me? Shoo! <laughs> Shoo! It was about five minutes ago When I seen a hardest trick that a young and never seen before Can I talk in a British accent? What would you like me to say, mate? I sound horrendous, but I'll give it a shot just for you. There you go. All right. There you go. Okay, bro. Now we're in full effect. We got the guns blazing. Should we turn it up? Y'all want me to turn it up now? All right. Look, this I didn't want this, okay? This was supposed to be a chill stream. You guys did this. You pulled it out of me. You know what? All right. Look, you did this. I didn't do this. You did it. Let's go. Crash in. Hit a wall. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. My name is Gio, and every single day I teach you guys why the market moves the way that it does. Why did I have this box drawn out before we are getting this bounce? Oh, that is the question. Make sure you stick around and make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can learn why this happens. Gio, did you just enter a trade on five minute structure, five second structure? You know what? You know what, bro? It's not your business, okay? Can y'all just like relax, okay? Come on now, come on now. Every come day on, we come wanted on, everything, wanted everything. Mama said, don't give up.
Potter. Harry, take my hand. I can't. It's so sweaty. <laughs> Bottle of water. Bottle of water. Sue me, mother, mother, father. Are we undressing for the boys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Won't it everything? Yes, sir. We are for the boys, baby. Mama said, don't give up singing. Don't give up. It's a little complicated. All tied up. Motherfucking five second structure, bitch. Five second structure. Five motherfucking second structure. I should see P though. <laughs> Mama said, don't give up. It's a little complicated. Five. Listen, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Structure is king. Five second structure. I just entered. Five second structure. I definitely should take profit though. But hey, I just work here, bro. Shouts out to Alex O Crypto. Guys, listen, if you don't know who Alex O Crypto is, then you're not a fan of otters, okay? I realize if you don't know who he is, then you don't know what that means, which is fine. He's a YouTuber. He lives 30 minutes away from me. Go check his channel out. He does things a little bit differently than I do, but he beatboxes. So Max, definitely don't go check him out. Everybody else, go check him out. He's lit. Go check out his channel. We're going to do a collab soon once he stops being too busy for me because I'm single and he's like almost married or is married or yeah, their fiance is from England. So he's almost married and I'm single. So every every bit of his free time, he goes towards his fiance. Every bit of my free time, I'm like, Alex, so crypto, bro, can we can we like get this? Can we get this money? Like, let's go. And he's like, I can't, bro. I'm spending time with the fiance. And I'm like, all right, man. Like, I, I, I get it. But like, you know, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. Because I got, oh, yeah. See? Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, man, look. I didn't want to do this. You guys pulled this out of me. I wanted to chill today. You guys did this. All right? You did this. Let's get the money song. Let's get the, oh, this is a banger. Go, 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 go. Nah, this is what we're going to do, man. We're going to do it like all times, guys. We're going to do it like all times. I need... Look, we're gonna do like all times. We're gonna get a mo the money song out. It's your birthday. All right, we're gonna get the money song out because we just made money on five second structure. Guys, especially the ones that are the OGs, man, I need you to come through for me. Like we used to do back in the day, all right? If I have provided you value in any way whatsoever, I need y'all to do me a solid right now. Drop some money bag emojis in the chat right now. We're gonna turn off. We're gonna turn off, not turn off. We're gonna take off the TA shades. We're gonna turn the party shades on. If I provided you value in any way, show your peers. Please do me a solid. Guys, if you're new here, my name is Gio, and every single day I teach you guys why the market moves the way that it does. Let me see those money bag emojis right now if I provided you value in any way. Let's get it. Let's get money, baby. Money. Let's get money, motherfucker. Get money. Get, get me, motherfucker, get money. Let's get, 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 get,
the leverage bro leverage doesn't matter brother leverage leverage doesn't matter brother brother leverage does not matter then you step away from the pc for a few seconds and the stream turned from a chill stream hey simon <laughs> i didn't want this okay they literally forced me Okay, somebody came to my house and put a gun to my head. There's a sniper on my head right now. YouTube, I'm just joking. It's a water gun. It is a water gun. Yeah, I didn't want this, man. But hey, they uh, they wanted it. The people wanted it, all right? Let's see what happens here. Okay, let's try to trade like retail. Should we try to trade like retail? I'm going to try to trade like retail, okay? Let's try. What would retail do right now? Retail would draw this line. They would draw that line. I'm gonna try to be retail. Let's try to be retail. Okay, they would draw that line. They definitely wouldn't have this line. They wouldn't know that this is the target. They definitely wouldn't know that. I'm gonna try to trade like retail. They, they don't know any of the order block stuff. They don't know how to long that. They probably would have had the golden pocket thing. Not thing, I mean, they know, they know what the golden pocket is, but they probably would have had the golden pocket. Would they have longed that? Potentially. But would they have longed this one and then gotten wrecked? Probably. Would they have longed this other one? Let me get rid of structure because they don't even know how to do that. We're going to try to trade like retail. Actually, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of our Wyckoff. Let's not pretend like we know that this is a uh, Wyckoff uh, 2 schematic. Let's hide our vector candles because they don't know anything about liquidity. They don't know anything about market makers. Let's hide this line. Okay, we're going to trade like solely, solely like retail, okay? We're gonna try, I'm gonna try my so best, now, okay? Everything is different. So they have that line, they definitely have this line, but now the line is moving, so they're gonna adjust the line to accommodate their new, like, you know, move or whatever. Uh, they definitely have this line, because look, we're in a, we're in a broadening, falling wedge, which is a, uh, I guess, what is it called? Like a bullish pattern or whatever? They have that line, probably. Okay, no, they, they probably don't have this line. But they have, the, and they probably don't have this line either. They probably have this. So they have this, like, you know, pizza pattern right now. Yeah, retail definitely would short, 100%. 100%. Um, okay, that's, I mean. This is what they would do. Retail would do this also. <laughs> Or actually even better yet Retail they probably did do this. They probably literally did this Oh retail 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 hey, that's your chart. <laughs> I Don't even know how to do it, bro. I Literally don't know how to do it Look She works the nights by the water. What is my trade at? I actually don't even know. Let's see. It's at two hundos at the moment. Look. Let us see. Uh, da, da, da. That's my trade right now. Okay, wait. I'll be back. I got to go pee. I got to go pee.
All right, friendos, have no fear. I have returned. I have returned. Let's see what you guys are saying. Retail life. <laughs> 68070. Entry on the golden pockets. Let us check what Alex o Crypto's golden pocket has to say about the market. I assume this is the golden pocket you're referring to. Unless I'm tweaking here. Wait, I'm on the 12 hour. So, okay, bro. Look, look. I'm not hating, but I this is, this is the part I don't get. Genuinely, I don't understand it. You know, one time I was talking about the, the uh, trend lines and shit. And I'm like, guys, I genuinely don't know how to do it. And, <laughs> and he's like, the guy... Literally, literally, this was his comment. Exactly, okay? His comment, word for word, bro. I swear to God. Was... The guy has traitor in his name and he doesn't even know basic shit. And I'm like, you fucking dumbass. If 95% of retail loses, why the fuck are you drawing these trend lines and shit? Anyways, hold on. I want This is the part I don't understand because how do you know where to pull it from? Like you could just pull this shit out of, out of anywhere and say that, oh, it worked off of a golden pocket. I mean, yeah, I'm sure it did. You can pull it. Where'd you where'd you get it from, bro? Here? Where are we? Okay, hold on. Where's zero six? What did you say? Six zero seventy. Okay, guys, listen. Not financial advice. You heard this? Alex O Crypto says long your entire account 100x at zero six zero seventy. Like that. But where? But the, I don't understand. Where did you get that from? Like, where's that golden pocket from, bro? From here? No. It would have to be from, like, here. But, like, how do you know? It's not from this one. It's, like, from... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I hate trend lines. I use it to track momentum. And adjust your stop losses. Yeah, I don't really use them. <laughs> Damn, I leave for 20 minutes and Big Bad Geo is shirtless and walking. I didn't want this, okay? I didn't want it. Now tell us the reason why I choose the five-second market structure. Um, I'll tell you why I chose the five-second market structure. I mean, don't ever do this. This is actually a horrible idea. But I chose the five-second structure. Look, so my name, you guys know, my name is not retail. I'm not like... It's weird but anyways okay my name is not retail i'll tell you why i chose the five second structure okay so we're gonna look at look at how i'm how much of a non-retail approach i'm gonna take this all right we have our range okay this is our range the range began here okay and this is a two minute range don't get it twisted but understand that i i i understand where we are in terms of the whole macro range okay but look but take a look at this so within this the contents of this local two minute range one minute range even Okay, one minute range. We um, have swept, we, we tapped the low. So here's tap one, here's tap two. What could we have right now? We could have a, uh, we can have a, uh, uh, a Wyckoff schematic two, right? Or, or a one where the two gives us a higher low and the one gives us a lower low, okay? We already followed our market structure and we already know that based on this SFP, this is the target, okay? Check marks the spot. I'm gonna hide the range. We understand the range, okay? Check marks the spot because we SFP'd this here. Okay, because this was an SFP, check marks the spot. So I'm gonna look to take profit up here at 68911. Okay, number one. Now, why did I choose to uh to long five second structure? Well, if you follow your order blocks, and this is a one minute order block, yes, it got whipped out ever so slightly, but it doesn't matter. We were within the uh, point of interest okay we're within the point of interest and then we pull up market site for b we can see that as we're making this entire move to the downside we have money coming in okay we have money coming in we're already expecting a higher low if you want to be the, if you want to do the retail approach of it you could i'm not going to say that you can't you definitely can do it but you also had good confluence with your golden pocket there fine nothing wrong with it right nothing wrong with it but i follow i took the order block approach to understand, all right, we could come down here, we could sweep these lows, whatever, okay? Now, why did I choose 
five second structure and you definitely shouldn't do this but why did i choose five second structure by the way quick update this is what the position is looking like now now we are here okay so 300 bones we are in the green 300 bones right now okay anyways so why did i take it on on uh five second structure well there's two things going on Number one, you need to know that you can uh, you can enter the market two ways. You can either take the um, the what's the word the aggressive approach by trading with market cipher, or you can take the safer approach by trading market structure. Okay, now structure on the one minute time frame didn't give us anything. Okay, the best that you had was an SFP of this low which you could say okay was a valid sfp and it played out obviously oh wait no i lied i'm over here um yeah no structure didn't in terms of structure structure on the one minute time frame would have only flipped bullishly here but now we're already way close to the target so it's not going to uh it, it doesn't do anything for us right it doesn't really give us anything good so the reason that i entered on the 15th or on the five second is because i wanted to i wanted like okay if I'm expecting a higher low on the one minute, remember this is a one minute range. If I'm expecting a higher low on the one minute time frame, okay, how do I know when that one minute low is gonna come in? When, for example, 15 second structure flips bullishly, okay? Now, 15 second structure was the same as the one minute structure, and it did not flip bullishly, okay? It did not. So, I, I opted to do a horrible idea, and I definitely don't re recommend you do it. But a horrible idea was to come down to the five second time frame. Perhaps I could have done it on like the 10 second or whatever, but doesn't matter. On the five second time frame, and I understand where I am in terms of my macro range. I understand where I am in terms of my local one minute range. I understand what the order flow objective is. I understand that we are in a Wyckoff 2 schematic. I understand that we had an SFP and I know exactly where my target is. I know exactly where my invalidation is. So while I saw that break and then I saw money starting to come in, I mean, it was a better conviction, but like around here, that's kind of where I entered. And um, remember, I'm in the last, I'm in one of the last order blocks of our little local range. Okay. We also have confluence with retails, golden pocket. If you feel like you want to get sexy with it and be retail. So why not at that point, if five seconds structure flipped bullishly, and we're on a one minute range. It's a very young range. Why not shoot for something like this? Right? Why not? Why not? Remember, when you're trading, guys, when you're scalping, this is what people don't understand. And this is like the, the thing that's so comical to me. When people say, yo, Geo doesn't trade, whatever. Dude, like I'm in here doing this in front of you every day. And like, look at the, okay, the, the five second candles are kind of ugly. But if you hide the time frames, okay? If there's no time frames, you hide it. Then you can see right now, okay? Like this could be any time frame whatsoever. So this could be the 15, this could be the daily time frame for all you know. It all it's all the same. The whole market moves the same. If you can trade a 1 minute range, you can trade a 1 hour range, you could trade a daily range, you could trade a 5 second range. Don't do it. It is it's not smart, but my point is you can trade it. So right here, what do we have? This is the the best part is when people say I don't I don't actually trade and I don't know what I'm talking about. That's my favorite. I love when people say that because you sound so fucking stupid. Look, right now we have a one minute structure that now because I front ran the 15 second or the five second, your one hour structure broke bullishly. Okay, so what am I? Am I panicking right now? No, I'm not panicking. I already know this is my target. This is my order flow objective. And right now the one minute time frame is suggesting that my fifth, my five second entry was correct. Okay. So now we are basically just getting our higher low to then make the higher high and then target here. Now, should I have taken profit on the one minute high? Absolutely. I should have, but I'm on YouTube and I'm trying to entertain. Okay. So my $300, I was up 350 is only up $200 right now. Who cares? It doesn't matter. I'm trying to illustrate the point, okay? If I get stopped out, then I get stopped out. If I don't, then I don't. But I'm, I'm, this is the funniest thing, is that I'm here doing it, and people are so ignorant. 
Some people are so ignorant, they, they just can't fathom that I actually know a thing or two, and that I do this for a living, and that I know what I'm talking about, and people are just so... Anyways, whatever, it's not even about that. I'm not even mad, I'm just... Anyways, so this is what's going on right now, and this is our target. The target hasn't changed. The target is 68.9, and if we hit 68.9 then I'm going to take profit at 68.9 because that is my order flow objective on the five minute time frame. And the one minute time frame just confirm that we're going to come up to this level. So am I panicking? No. Can we come lower? Yes. If we come lower into an order block, perhaps, let's take a look. Where might we bounce from for our higher low? Well, on first glance, right, we had our break of structure here, right? This is your one minute break of structure. So this is your range based demand here at the low. Anywhere within this box, you're allowed to reject from. So now, if we come into this box, this should be red. If we come into this box, and then on the lower term time frames, mind you, we're, we're getting really fractal right now, but it's the same concepts, okay? If on the lower term, if we have like another, let's say 15 second break of structure here, why not try to long it on the break or before, whatever, whatever. If you can get the retest, you get the retest, cool. And then this is still our order flow objective. So you just take what the market gives you. Am I panicking right now? No, not at all. Because I know what's going to happen. When you take a smart money approach of it, you negate all you like. I'm telling you, listen, people have a way of just shooting in the dark. Like I don't shoot in the dark, man. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm talking about. Right here, we can bounce from anywhere in this in this red box, but we can also bounce from here. And let's see. Look, I will be fully transparent with you if I add to my position. I haven't taken profits yet. If I get stopped out, I get stopped out. Who cares? I don't care. It's 300 bucks. But I'm doing this for entertainment purposes, but I'm doing it for illustration purposes as well. Okay? Just for dem demonstration purposes, rather. We broke, like, we broke structure, which means by default now, this is your protected low. Okay, this is your protected low within the contents of this local range. When you're in your local range, you know that you sweep the high and you sweep the low. We already swept the low. We're already expecting a, or, or, or potentially a, a Wyckoff schematic two, right? A model two. So why is this, now this is a higher low. This remains protected. Okay, the target is still this high. And we know that you rotate in the range, you rotate sides from side to side. And we haven't deviated the high yet. It's so simple, man. It is so simple. It is so unbelievably simple. We haven't deviated the high yet. There's nothing else to say. So we'll see what happens. It's just like, it's fun. It's comical. It's comical to me that people like, I don't know, man, the ignorance. It's like the ignorance. Don't know what else to tell you. The ignorance. Salman says, wow, thanks so much for the explanation. No worries. What leverage did I use on the scalp? Leverage doesn't matter, bro. I, I mean, I used ADX, but it doesn't matter because I have a clear invalidation. Literally doesn't matter. I could have used ADX. I could have used 8X. My position size is still the same. Time frames are fractal. Most people don't see it. Yeah, man. Like, you know how I learned how to use Market Cipher and something that I've been preaching for so long? I'm like, yo, just come to Market Cipher on the one minute time frame and just watch it. Because all time frames move the same. The one hour moves the same as the one minute, but it's just 60 times slower. But it's the same shit. When you're on Market Cipher and you see this, and then you're like, oh, maybe this green dot is going to fake us out. Like, you just get a feel for it. It's like driving a car. I say this all the time, too. It's like driving a car, right? At the beginning, when you first learned how to drive the car, you used to say, okay, um, what's it called? You used to be like, yo, uh, not yo, what the hell? <laughs> you used to be like thinking about things. Okay, right is gas, left is brake. Uh, up on the thing is to signal, you know, whatever. I have to like think about it now because I'm not actually in a car. But <laughs> like, you used to like, oh, put it in drive, put it in park. And then, and then you now, well, I'm assuming, hopefully, you just drive without thinking about it. It's the same exact concept with Market Cypher. Same exact thing. So, we'll see. Like, you know, we'll see what happens here. Look, now this is mitigated, okay? This is now mitigated. Right? This is mitigated. This is also mitigated. Can we come lower? Yeah, we can. Let's see. Do we have any reason to come lower? 
I mean, we're really fractal now. I'm not, I'm not usually coming on these time frames, but for demonstration purposes, we're here. Yeah, we have this 30 second. I mean, I'm just going to draw it manually. 30 second little baby order block. I'm not going to really count for that. Like it's not, it's not that huge of a deal, right? Let's see what happens here. And if you can get a 15 second or a five, I mean, I don't recommend doing the five at all. But if you can get a five second structure flip right now, or 15 second structure flip, why, I mean, if, if it makes sense within the range, right? Like, remember, you still need to be longing in the discount section of the range. So, um, yeah. Like, you, you shouldn't be longing from this way up just targeting the high of the range, right? Because we're still, we still need to abide by our range rules. Like, this is still our range. We're still in the premium section of our range. So, you shouldn't be longing here. It would be better if we actually come lower. It would be better. Because then you can, you're allowed to long in discount. You shouldn't be longing in premium. Anyway. The haters probably eating double stuffed Oreos. Yeah, man. Have a wonderful day, my friends. Go, uh, God bless. Happy Bladed Easter. Take care, brother. I'll, uh, I'll catch you soon. We'll chat soon. Motherfuckers, I'm not even mad. Yo, I'm not. I'm not. But it's just like... I know leverage doesn't matter. I watched the video, but I still want to know what leverage. Yeah, I used, I used, uh, I used, uh, I used 80 there. I used 80. I'm sorry, Ty. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> awesome shirtless Chad. Who's spicy? What is Wyckoff? Wyckoff is basically a smart money. Look at that. Wyckoff is basically a smart money, um, like way to trade. So this guy was mitigated. Okay. He's mitigated. We know that this is potentially our third tap. We know that this is the target. We're just chilling. We know that the one minute flipped bullishly. We know that we're allowed to bounce off of this one minute or, or this order block that I had drawn out. And this order block right here, right? So I need like, like man, you can you can pull m money out of the market. I'm on a one minute range, guys. I just made, look, I, if I hit the target, let me see. If I get out completely, what's my target? My target, you could even argue this. You could take this, this guy out. And the fact that we front ran this is even better. So you could say that this is your target. So six, six, eight, let's say six, eight, 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 eight. Okay. If I were to take my whole position, if I close my whole position at six, eight, 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 I just made $400 on a one minute range. Okay. Some people, and, and there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. But some people make $400 off of like a 10% move. And there's nothing wrong with it. You're just trading a different time frame. But you can get trades. You can pull these trades all day out of your ass. All day. All day. You can be pulling this shit out of your ass. It's just, yeah. I like it. You just need to understand what is happening. And this is it in real time, man. This is all my boot camps in one for free here on YouTube. Yo, there is a CME gap down on Bitcoin. Yeah, I need to, I need to check these CME gaps more often because I don't actually do that. I way need to check these CME gaps more. Yeah. Down here. Let's see. What is that at? 66 to 64. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it's actually very likely that we make our way down there. I think it is very likely. Well, we'll see. We have order blocks down here. So, like, the same thing that I'm doing on the one-minute time frame, I'm doing right, right like, on, on higher-term time frames, right? This is a one-hour. We got order blocks here. We might get a little bit of a move off of here, perhaps. Maybe. Who knows? But I, I, this is one of my zones, right? It's good confluence with the CME gap, which that, that part I wasn't even checking on. But just like I saw five second structure flip coming out of the order block, if I see, you know, 10 minute structure do this while we're here, 
then why would I not try to long it up to these highs? You know, why not? So let's see what happens here. Are we going to hit the, the, the objective? You know what I'm going to do? Because you could argue that this is not your range. You could argue this is your range high. You could argue. I mean, it's all up for debate, especially when you're on these lower term time frames. It's arguable. So, you know, we'll make this our target. Actually, no, I lied. This is the target. This is the target. I'm not changing my plan. This is the target right now. So we'll see what happens. But I do want to hide this because things can get pretty messy here. <clears throat> Am I making a video on Wyckoff? Probably not. Can I do DO? Is that what Decentraland is? DEO? Is that the tick? Can you tell me the, t the ticker? You have limits on the 9k CME gap? Hey man, that, that shit last week like wicked down to like 15k or 10k or whatever so okay how long have i been live for wow an hour and 45 okay i'm gonna look at decentraland and then we're gonna do the giveaways and then i'm gonna go how many likes guys we're at 173 likes if we can get 27 more likes then i will be doing two boot camp giveaways so make sure you hit the like button and make sure that you uh oh man okay and make sure that you um Hit the subscribe button if I've uh, if I've taught you anything here. Doesn't trade, they say. My fucking ass. Okay, I'll tell you this. If your name is retail, then this looks like shit. Just on first glance, right? This looks horrible. There's your head and shoulders, knees and toes. Now you guys know I don't do head and shoulders, knees and toes because I graduated kindergarten. So I don't do it, but um, to each their own. All right, just remember that your altcoins are gonna follow Bitcoin. Okay. I mean, your daily low. Okay, so your daily low is all the way down here. So price is allowed to come all the way down here while still remaining bullish. Right? Where could we come to? Was this guy mitigated? This guy was not mitigated. I would look for longs down here. I would also look for longs down here. Right, so I would check there. I would check there. See if we can narrow it down. Decide which one of these are better for us. Definitely the lower one is better. For now. I still like the lower one better, but let's see. I mean, this one could go either way. Could bounce from here, it could bounce from here. I kind of like the lower one better. Yeah. So in my opinion on the more macro, like it looks, it doesn't look good to me. And uh, in my opinion, we're coming to either 50 cents or we're coming to like 45 cents, 44 cents. These will be your longs. I think guys, I, I mean, look, whether or not Bitcoin takes its all time high again is uh, up for debate. Right, it's up for debate. Um, but it like, I, I do think a correction is coming. Or let me let me rephrase, because people seem to also misinterpret when I when I say when I say that. I also think that uh, yeah, this could be either or. This could be either or. 
I also think that when a correction happens, like alts are gonna absolutely die. Alts are gonna die. So the trick is make Gio angry and he will spit out premium stuff for free. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> do I use market cipher A? I do use market cipher A. It's at the low. It's at the lows right here. Bullish Geo tits on the one minute. Yeah. <laughs> You went in on the Adam long? Yeah, man. Yo, shouts out to my VIP members in the Discord. The link is in the description if you want to join. We're also, by the way, moving to the website. But uh, the Adam long right here. I mean, this was given. Look at this. How much are we up right now? I didn't take it. I actually, I'm not, like, full disclosure. I got a little bit rinsed this morning. Oh, we're not even up anything. But I got a little bit rinsed this morning because uh, I was trying to long Bitcoin and ETH at the same time. Which absolutely destroyed me. So I learned my lesson not to do that. I got wrecked this morning because of that. Why don't I use RSI? I don't use RSI because I don't need it. Like Market Cypher B is already more than enough information. And RSIs are very... It's like the first thing you learn as retail. And as you know, I don't trade like retail. Because 95% of retail loses. So why would I trade like retail? It doesn't make any sense. So I don't use RSIs for that reason. No hate on them. I mean, you if I was going to use the RSIs, they would be the RSIs in Market Cypher B, but it just makes things look ugly, number one. And uh, number two, you know, I don't really need it. Don't really need it. Man, listen, if you guys can get to a point where you're trading without any indicators, oh man, you'll become like wicked, you know? They can try to trip you up all day. Your indicators can trip you up all day long. But look at how I'm here. I'm chilling. I'm not even looking at my position. And uh, I know what my what, what the target is. Like, this is my target. This is the target. You know? It's gonna hit it. Do I add to my position to help with liquidations? I don't get liquidated, so no. You add to winning positions, not to losing positions. I'll tell you what I want to see right now. So remember, your one hour structure flipped, flipped bullishly. We bounced perfectly off of this blo block. We're heading up here, we're gonna tap this. I would like to see us take this high, reject off of this order block, and then continue down. And then tap this guy. I will look to gig along here if I see what I want to see. Only if I see what I want to see, though. But I, I would like to see this. As of right now, I see no need to come back up to here. So, we'll see what happens. This range has been uh, pretty boring lately, though. Yeah, bro. Double down on... Uh, Double down on your winning positions, not on your losing positions. And then people say, oh man, but then you ruin your entry. Yeah. You, like, but who are you ruining your entry for? Like, is it, are you ruining your entry for, for, uh, like, okay, it's for yourself, but is it because of the PL? Like, who cares, right? I could have a PL percentage right now. So this is the current trade that, you know, since we're here and talking about it. This is my current trade, right? So 316. Um, I like this could say, this could say 4%, and this could be $3,000. Would you rather make $3,000 on a 4% unrealized, or would you rather make 300 on 47? Like the percentage, I know you guys know, I always say follow the percentages and the, the dollar amount doesn't matter. Um, but that's like when you're learning, you know, in terms of like showing off or like sending PLs. Like, me showing a percentage of 47% doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't do anything. Right? It doesn't... Look at this. This is this is a different long that I have that I closed. Like, I'm not in this long. I close. I basically closed it. This is a perfect example, okay? So, this is what's happening right now. This is what happened a long time ago. I closed this position already. Okay, I realized a thousand bucks on it and I kept, like, $90. Like, not that much money in the margin here. Would you rather have... 300% and up 100 or 50% and up 315, right? So it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't really matter. 
like the the percentage i mean when you're in terms of uh it matters but in terms of what you're sharing it doesn't matter like when you're sharing pnls so who cares about ruining your entry if you're making more money who cares anyways let's see if this happens i hope it happens but i'm probably gonna get off stream because it's been two hours or whatever do i set limits i rarely limit i rarely limit okay guys let's do the giveaway we're gonna do the giveaway we're gonna do the giveaway so here's what i need everybody to do for me no matter what i do Here's what I need you guys to do. We're all going to go on my YouTube channel. We're all going to go to my last live, which was on two days ago. And we're all going to... Betty knows. So we're all going to go to this video. We're all going to like the video. We're all going to send... Uh, or leave a comment in that video. I don't care what the comment says, okay? You guys can say whatever you want. Geo, you suck. Geo, you're weak. Geo, you don't know how to trade. Whatever you want, man. I don't care. But it has to have, let's say, the sunglasses emoji because I'm wearing sunglasses right now. So it has to have that emoji in it. Say whatever you want. What time is it right now? Right now, it's 2.25. We're going to do the giveaway in five minutes, and then your boy's going to go hit the gym. So 2.25... Five minutes, everybody go to that video. Make sure you like the video to enter the giveaway. And um, make sure you have the uh, the cool emoji. And then when you're done, come back here and let me know that you're done so that I know that like how many people did it. Just say I come and I go. Everybody knows who Dini Are these guys Are these guys gonna like Hit my target or am I gonna look like a fool Am I gonna look like a bhakti <laughs> I don't even know what that means Actually, while you guys do that, let me just mention here, because I might as well, because I don't have the actual stuff up today. BT dubs, my friends. BT dubs. In case you didn't know, in case you didn't already do it. Number one, a free way to support me, and I very much appreciate it, is by hitting the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, okay? Or else you're going to lose every trade you've ever taken. Number one. Number two, another free way to support me, if you're looking to trade and you're looking to scalp the markets like I currently am right now of $300 live in front of your face, Mexi, cheapest on fees. Rumors have it that I might be leaving Mexi first, but in the meantime, for now, Mexi is still uh, all systems go. And then, of course, guys, if you're looking to trade and you're looking to purchase Market Cyber B, the link is in the description down below. If you use the discount code TRADERGEO, you get 20% off, and that is another free way to support me. But not only that, you get access to my VIP section. If you purchase it for one year, you get access to my VIP for uh for one month and if you purchase it for life then you get access to my my vip for one year where i do at least three official live streams per week whenever i'm scalping i hop in live i'm in there answering questions all day i'm in here up giving you guys updates all day video updates all day so uh yeah i'm done chilling what's playing right now Oh, that's copyrighted. Can't do that. I come and I go. What time is it? All right, one minute, guys. One minute and a half until we do our giveaway here. 
my indicator. My indicator is uh is um damn, what's the abbreviation? It's MIA. Missing in action right now. Fuck D equals someone who is an addict. <laughs> my headlights are showing. I'm about to get leg day down. We're about to hit leg day. Yeah, they want KYC in June. I know, super gay. I'm doing great, thank you very much. Our Mexi fee is gonna stay that low. I haven't heard anything about the fee changing. What happened to Montua Flame? You want it? Alright, let's go Montua Flame. Alright guys, while we're waiting for the giveaway in one minute here, y'all know how it is, man. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you're returning, I need your help. Let's show the newcomers the value that I've provided. If only, if and only if I've provided you value, okay? So if I've made your life better in any way, let's get those fire emojis in the chat right now while I do the giveaway for you guys. Let's go. It's just one call away And you leave him, you're loyal to me But this time
Hold the phone. Okay, am I good now? Am I good? Dude, yo, OBS is so fucking whack, bro. OBS is whack AF. Okay, am I good now? You guys can, get, can I get some, I need some, some thumbs up. If you guys can hear me, I need some thumbs up. I need some thumbs up. Give me them thumbs up if y'all can hear me. No, you guys should be able to hear me now. Now you guys should be able to hear. Still no? Good? Yes? Okay. I'm going to repeat that whole sequence. Okay? Because I have to be fair. But I'm going to be quick with it. So get on your toes right now. Ready? We're going to do it again. What time is it? Okay. I have 196 likes, four more likes. If I can get four more likes within 30 seconds, and I don't care about the YouTube delay, okay? 30 seconds from right now, I will do one more giveaway. Four likes, 30 seconds from literally five seconds ago. And I'm watching it. Don't think I'm not watching it. I can't show you guys because it has, let me see if I can show you guys. You know what, I'll show you guys. Whatever, doesn't matter, who cares? I made $4 this stream, who cares? Okay, I can't even get it on the screen. That's fine. I'm watching it though. How much time do we have left? I don't care about the delay. I gotta be fair to me just like I gotta be fair to you guys. Five, four, three, two, one. The likes are still at 196. Guys, I tried, man. I tried to give you guys another giveaway. Y'all are too late. You're too late. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta be fair to you like I gotta be fair to me. I gotta be fair to me like I gotta be fair to you. So, it looks like we are about to hit the objective. Gio, you don't even do this. Gio, you don't even really trade. Gio, you're so fucking sexy. Guys, relax, okay? Jeez. Relax. All right, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Hey, have a good one. I will see you guys tomorrow. Happy Easter. God bless. I don't care about the delay. Sorry. Sorry, bro. Nope. I don't care about the delay. I don't care. I told you guys. I, with, that was the rules. The delay was no bueno. I told you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The rules are the rules. The rules are the rules! Okay, we're at 210 now. Okay, fine. Here. Look. We're gonna double or nothing. Okay? I'll be a little bit... I'll be fair. I'll be fair. Okay? It's 37 right now. 237 right now. I'm gonna give it to, to, to 240. So you guys have... You guys have two, and a, 2 minutes and 45 seconds. But it's gotta be 225. 225 likes. So 12 more likes. In two minutes, that's gonna be your like get like your. That's fair. Yeah, I have a link for you, bro. Like I'm off to a flame. There you go. Yo, you guys are whack, bro. Y'all are mad. I literally made the deal. Now you guys have a new deal. Two minutes, 11 likes. That's fair, man. You got you have bare time. You can make so many fake accounts in that time. <laughs> Take your like back, bro. You're not going to get the thing if you do. <laughs> Y'all want the dance song? You should be dancing. Yeah. Seven more likes, baby. Let's go. Y'all can get it. Shut up and dance with me. A better day. So don't you dare look back. All right, let's get a new dancing. Hey, to the haters. 
Sorry, not sorry, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Set my heart